It's always better to have one person, one vote, not one dollar. If democracy goes to those with the most money, that's not good. It's much better to have a system of reasonable limits that can make sure that every voice is heard in our democracy, not just the wealthy. As it is, people who have great wealth or interest in great wealth have enormous influence in the capital. The governor is the person who has to sort of be the goalie for the public, for the common good for consumers. I had veto bills that I thought were really against the common good, especially consumers. And if those with great wealth or interest with great wealth can take over the process by their enormous spending, I mean, we raised $30 million in our campaign, a tremendous amount of money. Unbelievable. That was less than half of the other side. And I think, you know, once it becomes a, a money race, ordinary people who don't have money uh, can get left out of the process. I don't want that to happen. And there were many reformers who were very much for what they did. The campaign finance limits. I can't tell you how many times your paper and others over the course of time. In Illinois is the Wild West, which should have reasonable limits to campaign donations. I got that done. Somebody basically obliterated. We didn't have civil unions or marriage equality. The death penalty was still around. It was a moratorium, but it was still on the books. The economy was in a tailspin. No investment in infrastructure. We've been able to do all that. So we did. Do you leave now at peace? Well, I'm a restless person. Uh, I don't think anybody would ever say that about me. Uh, I just mean, I mean in terms of your legacy. Yeah. And terms of well, you know, I have no apologies, yeah. uh, no regrets. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, I always see progress is not something that's static. You have to, if you want a strong democracy, people have to lean on it every day. So, as I go into private life, I intend to try and find causes that matter. Will we see a back to I have no idea. And I have, you know, I'm not even going to think about it right now, but you will see Pat Quinn uh, passing petitions. The key for democracy is to make sure every voice is heard. And those with great wealth and vested power whether the companies or individuals can drown out the voices of those with limited means. Not healthy. And that's why we gotta use our power of democracy to make sure those voices are heard. That's why I believe in petition passing and referendum and taking walks. You know, the Office of Controller admittedly until Judge Judy Mark Topeka came, was rather low profile. She certainly was had a, a flair to bring attention to things. Remember, she was treasurer for three terms. So, she, in my opinion, I probably knew her far longer than the governor elect. I don't think there'd be any question that she would say that if I can't be here, the best way to go is as soon as possible that voters have a chance to fill out the term of somebody base. That's Judy's law. I'm going to say I'm wrong. And anybody who says otherwise, I don't think. Uh, understands how important voter voice is when it comes to the life of the state